This is Bambara ground nut, Vigna subterranea, is native to sub-Saharan Africa, but it also grows in Indonesia and Thailand. Now, in Malaysia, we have just started recently growing the crop and we see the, the growth and the performance of the crop in Malaysia. But so far, the preliminary results say that the crop is really promising also in Malaysia. Now, this crop can be used as a human food, mainly as a human food, and, but also can be used as a fodder for the, for the um, animals. It has high protein, the seeds, the uh, content of the protein is high. Also, it has uh, a lot of uh, nutrients. Now, this crop can be grown as a soil crop or in, uh, can be integrated to uh, another system. Now, why this crop is really, <coughs> uh, uh, is really a future crop? Now, this crop can grow in a wide range of climatic conditions. So, there are uh, different land races, but mainly uh, the, uh, the most important thing with this crop it can grow in a very hard condition in terms of water and temperature. So it's a drought tolerant and also is a heat is a heat tolerant. And also it can grow in marginal soils. So it doesn't really need a lot of uh, nutrients like other um, crops. Now this crop also is a legume. So it's very good for the soil <coughs> because it can um, fix nitrogen and when it's cropped with other crops it can be useful for the soil so we don't really need to add that much of, uh, of fertilizer um, to the soil or, 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 um, <coughs> uh, or water uh, so as I have mentioned the climatic scenario change is really important for us so we always look for crops can grow in, in 50 years times where the temperature expected to to rise uh, by four degrees so 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 we expect this crop this crop will be very good for the future